Rusty V trying to get a TNT make a clean break on the line eventually taken down by Wales TNT trying to get some positive work done but Wales tried to pinch the ball illegally straight arm penalty for TNT just short of the halfway line TNT set up ready to go I'm Kelsey Vigaro alongside Robert Stone Robert tell us what you think about this match well it's a very interesting fixture here today playoffs right on the horizon both teams need a win here but Wales is going to be desperate to make it happen penalty for Wales there unsure what the call was and Wales might use a tactic of calling a scrum just to wrap in some of the speedy TNT players to give themselves room out wide very interesting option here. Want to suck in those defenders. They've got pace to burn out wide. Keep your eye there on number 12. I believe that's Mrs. Lane. She's got a few tries in this tournament. Solid scrum by Wales. Gets the ball out and again looping pass. Trying to find Lane if they can. It's, it's Lockwood showing the dummy. Showing and going and luck will go on her own for the first try of this one. A beautiful loop around there, makes it happen, creates the space. Defender and drifted the out there on lane. Of this first beautiful, beautiful play there by Wales. TNT defense just not picking up who they want on the looper on the wraparound. Wales as a conversion to make it seven points to nil. Lots of play for in this round robin competition still. So they're all playing for places in the medal round. Try coming from definitely, and you're seeing TNT actually using a lot of their finishers to start this game here. Really have to use your depth in your squad. So many fixtures in such a few amount of days. Try coming from Hannah Marshall. The Deep kick by Wales. TNT unable to gather. Knock on TNT scrum to Wales and retaining kickoff determines who scores next. Oh, we've been talking about that for the last two days. These kickoffs are so vital in sevens. If you can't secure your kickoff, you'll never have possession and can't really do anything from here. But deep, deep, deep scrum for Wales. And again, just look at Mrs. Lee, number 12, licking her lips. She wants to get any score sheet, no doubt about it. Wales gets us back on the way. Strong scrum, back in hands, a try score. Lockwood and Lockwood shows and goes to Lane and slicing through TNT defense. And it's a try this time in the corner, it seems. This time it's a winger Lane. She gets over for 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 Wales is second. Yeah, beautiful work there by Lockwood. Drawing defender, a little switch there with the winger. That's Hanla Lane cuts back in, beats one, and finishes. She's big, she's strong, she's fast. She's gonna work any TNT and experience to get on that try sheet. Wales, def Wales attacks, attacking line. Sorry, are confusing the TNT defense. They don't seem to be picking up the, the runner, cutting the angles, and we, the Welsh will capitalise on that. Yeah, some slight inexperience in the TNT squad. There having a little trouble adjusting to the loops, any sort of switches and misses the inside ball. But that's all part of learning the experience. Griffin gets us back underway. TNT knock it on in the pickup once more. Scrum in the far end of the pitch. And TNT really to get going by firstly catching these kickoffs. You know, we were discussing it yesterday where coaches, of course, are always focusing on the passing and the rocking. But if you can't get phase one right, if you can't secure that initial possession, you're never really going to be able to set up those phases. And wheels, and especially if you saw some of the teams in Australia, these high hanging kicks in this testing condition with this wind. It's going to make the ball bounce and it could go anywhere. You start winning 50% of your own kickoffs. It's just not going to work. Yesterday, fixtures Wales losing to, to favourites Australia 26 points to 7. And then also losing to Fiji in the second half of the day 21 points to 15. As you see, yet another infringement by TNT. This time the offside. It'll be interesting to see what Wales up to do here last time they scrum, but this time they want to move it. Wales going to take it forward with Ellis. Ellis taking it all the way, looking for the offload. Finally gets it into the hands of Marshall. Marshall strolls in under the sticks. Marshall's going to add an extra and points now for um, Wales. Yeah, Poppy Ellis has done a lot right for Wales in this tournament here. She's Scotland number three, the prop, Wales. took it up there strong, sucked in some defenders, and then, like any good scrum half, right 17. off her shoulder, that was Hannah Marshall, number nine. Get her name on it as well. Tries and, one and what a great start to day three 
for wheels. And this conversion, the second conversion is good. Wales pushed the score up 19 points to nil over TNT. TNT just needs to get Taking it right with the kickoff. From three tries and two And Griffith is going to dink it back in the corners and make TNT a, give TNT sorry, a tough task to catch this ball. It'll be very interesting to see what they do now. Now they're going to pump it right down the middle. TNT unable to snatch the ball, eventually stopped in the 22 meter line. TNT don't know where seem to go as they seem to go through the middle now. Wheels just caught a bit napping on that. Eventually they stop her and now she's on the floor. TNT looking to get the ball out if they can. Slow possession, counter rock by Wheels was almost successful. TNT is smashed back in the contact, just moving a little too slowly. Wheels steal the ball at the contact situation. Referee playing advantage at the ball is shoot out to Lane and Lane may not be the extra person. Lane goes herself driving her legs and she's over for another try. A little bit of Shane Williams cut back inside there for Lane. But great play there on the breakdown there. Wheels identifying Trinidad and Tobago took a little bit long Wales. to get the ball out. Not accustomed to that pressure on the counter up. Wheels put the pressure, won the turnover, spun it wide and Wales another try. The Welsh will be partying in Cardiff Bingo. tonight, I'll tell you, Kelsa. Yeah. Wales doing all the things right. The coach may be pleased. He's just saying, get these taxes going as everyone seems to be excited to get back on the line and get the score going. Griffith ready to go. Interesting as well, Kelsey. And I want to hear out the Welsh supporters. They've been one of the biggest numbers here and they've had a great time in Tobago. Trent Tobago scoop up the kickoff. Finally, some good possession. But the, Wales, the Welsh defense are stingy and they're trying to counter rock which they did turn the ball over TNT unable to get a face out of the kickoff and Lane is spreading out while looking for a yet another try maybe securing a hat-trick ball flicked up trying to find Lockwood but in, instead it popped in the hands of the nifty Marshall and Marshall steps one steps two and is over the line for yet another try yeah, everything working for wheels here today that's Hannah Marshall the scrum half believe that's Another a double already a little bit Wales. loose play there by Wales 31. I'm sure the coaches want to make sure playoffs coming up in the next round that they want to tighten up as much as possible interesting to see what they up to do from the penalties now everything has been a scrum on a top just might want to just see how their line also working but of course and that's just being incredibly picky on my end first half time score 33 points to nil in Wales favor of Wales over TNT